Hey everyone, in this video I'll be talking about Etsy Hunt and I will show you what you can do using Etsy Hunt. So this video is going to be towards, um, uh, it's going to be beginner friendly. So if you're just starting out with Etsy Hunt uh, or Etsy for that matter, I will show you exactly what you can use Etsy Hunt for and how you can use it to make sure that you get the best out of it. So uh, first, let's talk about what Etsy Hunt is. So Etsy Hunt is basically a tool for Etsy, which is going to help you uh, search for products, top selling products, which is going to allow you, uh, uh, enable, to, enable you to make better research when it comes to your products if you want to sell using Etsy. So you got products, you've got uh, reviews, you've got also, you can track shops, you can track, um, we already said products, keywords, yes. This is what I was looking for. Keywords, shops, and products. So this is all going to be very, very, very useful info that is going to help you with your own uh, shop and products using Etsy. So this is Etsy Hunt in a nutshell. It's just going to help you with your research in order to make successful steps forward when it comes to Etsy. So you can see here, get the best sellers, best selling uh, products popular search tags on Etsy and more uh, within Etsy Hunt. Now, it is uh, not entirely paid. It does have a free plan. So if we go to pricing here, we will see that it does have a free plan. So uh, this free plan provides you with uh, 10 daily searches for products uh, and product charts. You get partial, not entirely everything that you would get with the paid plan and other things here as well. I'm not going to compare each and everything about plans, but here you have it. They've got the basic for, uh, I think $9.99 a month. Uh, you've got the pro for $19.99 and then team for $59. And then you can just come over here and compare the pricing uh, info more for yourself and see which one suits you best. But let's actually talk about what you can do with it and how to actually go about it. So first you go to etsyhunt.com and then from there you just sign up. Simple as that. And then from here you'll find yourself within the dashboard. Uh, in the dashboard you will just get these options. But we can just go to database and we will have three options. Product, keyword, and shop. So if you want to look uh, for products then this section is all for products. And same goes for keyword and shop. So let's start with product. So if you want to just look up a product, for example, we can just click on the first one. It's your product database. And then from here, you will find uh, a bunch of products and that you can look for with, I guess, top sales and stuff. So the, the, the um, filters that you get, seven day sales. So this is the sales that uh, this, a specific product got within the last seven days total sales reviews favorites and then there you've got to the action if you want to copy a link that kind of stuff or even track here you can track by just clicking on here you can favorite and you get the details and stuff but we will talk about that um, I need to note that the sales here the seven day and the total sales are going to be approximate. They're not going to be full on um, accurate. It's going to be approximate because they can't really know exactly the total sales here. So for the sales, again, it's approximate. So here on top, we've got the things that we can actually work with. We can find the search box where we can actually search for a um, product specific product and then we've got the uh, after we search we've got the filters here like for example the category uh, we've got country you can filter out uh, the countries here we've got the release time if that's what you want reviews product type sales uh, price uh, and then things like that so most uh, notably you would use the price uh depending on what kind of price range that you want as well as sales you you want it to be actually a very good product so uh, go high up but not too high because you don't really want something with 
very very high competition and you've got also reviews uh you go high a little bit and then category obviously that's up to you and then we also got product type if it's uh digital vintage uh handmade that's all going to be up to you so uh if we search for something here let's just um try to find something to look for let's just say book uh book uh let's just say book i don't know what to search for really maybe we get nothing with book hold on okay so we've got personalized uh, book stamp here uh and we've got a few other things so let's say book stamp is the thing that we're looking for you will see the price you will see the sales like i said it's not exactly uh right but it's just uh as close as possible so let's say we like this one we just click on it and then we will find more details about it so we can see the tags that the person used for um for this product we can see the images if that's uh, something that we want but main thing here we've got the tags uh, you can just see them over here you've got the reviews which is awesome you can you get to see the details as well as the description uh if we just scroll down here you can see the description and everything that describes it and then we've got performance you can see that it jumped uh real high up over here and stuff so we've got that but most importantly here we get to see the keywords that are uh somewhat related to it this is not going to be an accurate section because you can see it's, it's kind of off the keywords here but what you would do is go for it keywords there and then you look uh these tags up and then from there you will find uh the thing the tags that you want but let's sum up how keywords work uh you can track them by, by views as well as competition so you see men's wallet you get the views are kind of um they're kind of high but you can see the competition is very 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 high so you really want to stay away from men's wallet and this is how it goes so you try to find the most views with the least amount of competition so this gro groomsman wallet is actually kind of cool because you can see the views are up there when it with men's wallet but then the competition is way less which is awesome and you can see the details here uh google monthly search a pd and cpc so you'll get that kind of info and you can track uh by add to tracking here and also if we go to keyword it's pretty much what we have just done uh you but the only difference is you actually get to, to look up a keyword you can just click here look for a specific keyword and then you will see um book stamp let's say for example okay so book stamp we just look it up and then boom we've got it we've got the countries where it's most uh looked up for it so book stamp is obviously a very uh common thing that you can really you see the competition is crazy when it comes to it but it gives you related keywords that could be um uh like better for you when it comes to it so you can just type in a book stamp for example and keep looking for the thing that you want now uh you can see that it uh directs me to the paywall because you need to understand that you won't really get uh many suggestions with the free but it's good enough uh, trust me the free version is actually really good enough and then you get also um word cloud here which will also give you things related to what we looked for okay so before we end this video by the way same thing goes for shops and same goes for if you go product charts you can you can see the top products for uh like recent and also this best selling is for like all time and then rising is basically just they're doing better and better so you can just browse these products and see which ones uh, suit you best and then you can just track them and see how it looks like so you can kind of do the same thing for your own product same goes for shop here if we go to database shop shop database you can uh 
track shops, see how they do. And you can also look them up if you want to. But before we end, I also want to show you or talk about that they have a Chrome extension. So if you just type in Etsy Hunt in Google, we will find Etsy Chrome extension, which we can just open up. And then we can just, uh, it also has Edge. So we just go Chrome for now. And then we just add to Chrome. Now it's going to be pretty much the same thing where you can just type in uh, keywords and then you will get uh, a bunch of, oh, sorry about that. You will get a bunch of uh, things to work with here. Obviously you will need to log in. And then afterwards you can see here, you just type in some keywords and it will give you the competition, the traffic, how much it's searched for exactly like you got with Etsy hunt here, the actual uh, website. So this is basically how Etsy hunt works. So if I didn't really touch on, for example, uh, product comparison analysis, that kind of stuff, it's very much the same and easy to use. I just showed you the products and the shop and the keywords. These are the uh, most important ones, but the other things are also going to be functioning the same way. So I hope this video helped you and that's it for today. Thanks for watching.